Okay, in this video, we are going to talk about number five from the 2018 Calc AB exam. Um, and we're just given a function and asked a couple things about it. So uh, here is the function. It's e to the x times cosine of x. And the first question is to find the average rate of change of f on the interval from 0 to pi. So average rate of change is just algebra 1 slope. So we want to find f of pi minus f of 0 and then over pi minus 0. And so we're going to substitute in. It's really actually this simple. We're just finding uh, algebra 1 slope. So subbing in gives us this. You do have to remember the cosine of pi is negative 1. The cosine of 0 is 1. e to the 0 is 1. e to the pi is just going to stay e to the pi. So with all of that in mind, uh, e to the pi cosine of pi is just going to be uh, negative e to the pi. And then since... Uh, e to the 0 is 1 and cosine of 0 is 1, so it's minus 1, and then over pi. And that's the answer. So let's move on to the next part. So in part b, we are asked to find the slope of the tangent at 3 pi over 2. So first we're going to need the derivative because that tells us the slope of the tangent. So f prime of x is going to be uh, first derivative of the second. So the derivative of cosine is negative sine and then plus the second, which is cosine. The derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. So derivative of the first is e to the x. So we get that. So we need to find f prime of 3 pi over 2. And so this is going to look pretty messy, just plugging in all the way. Uh, so it turns out on this exam, you really should have reviewed the unit circle ahead of time. Uh, so. I'm going to add that to my checklist of things to do, and you should definitely do that as well. All right, so uh, the unit circle will help us out here. So we need uh, sine and cosine of 3 pi over 2. That's that angle down there. The, un the uh, ordered pair is 0, negative 1. So we know cosine of 0, sine is negative 1. So we're going to plug in all of those values. Um, so we said sine is negative 1. Cosine is 0, so the second half just drops out. So we end up with f prime of 3 pi over 2 is equal to um, just e to the 3 pi over 2. And then it's, I mean, it's times negative negative 1, which is positive 1. Um, so the question was to find the slope. So I'm just going to summarize. Slope of the tangent at x equals 3 pi over 2 is e to the 3 pi over 2. Moving on to the next question. So the next question says to find the absolute minimum of f on the interval from 0 to 2 pi. And we need to justify our answer. So uh, I stole f prime from the previous part, but I factored it a little bit. So I took out e to the x and then I rearranged it. So uh, f prime of x is e to the x times the quantity cosine of x minus sine of x. So we are going to have the absolute minimum at uh, either an endpoint or at a critical point. So I need the critical point. So f prime of x equals 0. e to the x is never equal to 0. So the only way that can happen is if cosine of x is equal to sine of x. So I know cosine and sine are basically the same at the pi over fours. They're definitely the same at um, the first quadrant and the third quadrant. So uh, my angles are going to be pi over four and also five pi over four. Okay, so uh, now I'm just gonna evaluate the function at the critical points and the endpoints. So the endpoints are zero and two pi and the critical points we found are pi over 4 and 5 pi over 4. So we need to plug in. Uh, if you plug in 0 to the original function, you get e to the 0 cosine of 0, which is just 1. If you plug in pi over 4, you get e to the pi over 4, and then the cosine of pi over 4 is radical 2 over 2. If you plug in 5 pi over 4, you get e to the 5 pi over 4. Cosine of 5 pi over 4 is negative radical 2 over 2. And that's good because that's definitely a negative number. Um, and I was getting a little worried about having to compare these values. And so for the last one, it's e to the 2 pi. And then the cosine of 2 pi is just 1. So we just get e to the 2 pi. All right. So since we're looking for the minimum, uh, we know that it's the negative. So I'm going to say that the, the absolute minimum occurs at an endpoint or a critical point. Therefore, the absolute minimum is e to the 5 pi over 4 times negative root 2 over 2 and I use the candidates test. So let's move on to the next part, which actually introduces another function um, called g of x. It's differentiable. 
we're given the graph of g prime and we're told that g of pi over 2 is equal to 0. And if you've been doing a bunch of problems, you know this probably means we're going to use L'Hopital's. And it turns out this is a question about a limit. We want the limit as x approaches pi over 2 of f of x over g of x. So by direct substitution, um, f of 0, no, I'm sorry, f of pi over 2 is going to be uh, e to the pi over 2 times cosine of pi over 2. But cosine of pi over 2 is 0. So here's f of x. Cosine of pi over 2 is 0, so that means we're getting uh, 0 over, we were just explicitly told 0. So as soon as you get 0 over 0, you want to use L'Hopital's rule. So by L'Hopital's rule, I know that the original limit, which was limit as x approaches pi over 2, f of x over g of x, is equal to the limit as x approaches pi over 2 of f prime of x over g prime of x. And this is something that we can work with. So um, we know that f prime from previous parts is e to the x, the quantity cosine of x minus sine of x. So I can find f prime of pi over 2, which is going to be e to the pi over 2. Um, cosine of pi over 2 is 0. Sine of pi over 2 is 1. So we get negative e to the pi over 2. And then we're given the graph of g prime. So if we go to pi over 2 there, we can see that g prime of pi over 2 is 2. So this should be, or is, negative e to the pi over 2 over 2, just by evaluating both functions. Um, and that's actually all there is to it. So that's our answer. And uh, that's the whole question. I hope you found this helpful and good luck.